dear students in this class we are going to discuss what is the locking arrangements of nets in our engineering field there are 9 or 10 types of locking arrangements but in the case of technical school engineering drawing there are we have to study about four type of locking arrangements its name is de de depicted in in this board that is locking arrangement by chuck nut second one locking arrangement by split pin locking arrangement by castle nut and locking arrangement by saw pin in our engineering drawing especially in the case of technical school we have to study the these four type of locking arrangements first we have to understand before going to in detail first we have to understand what is the purpose of locking arrangements see in our engineering field so many parts are joined together by means of a nut and bolt especially in the case of rotating or revolving type of machinery parts that parts are joined by means of a nut and bolt while during the their working they can be get loosened so we can avoid that loosening tendency we use a locking arrangements what is the purpose of locking arrangement to avoid the get loosening of the machinery parts so we can use our locking arrangement some special type of locking arrangement by introducing some special type of locking arrangement we can reduce that loosening tendency hence we can reduce the accident causing by the loosening tendency okay so we have to discuss this four type of locking arrangements that means first one locking arrangement by chuck nut okay dear students this is the first locking arrangement that means locking arrangement by chuck nut this figure shows so many parts that parts containing one is locking nut the smaller nut is called locking nut larger nut is called or normal ordinary nut the green colored line is called line diagram of bolt and this sectional area is shows that is the plate that means a plate is bolted by means of a bolt and two nuts in this two nuts one is locking nut here the total length of our bolt is marked here this is the total length of bolt this height is 10 mm this height is 0.6d this is d plate thickness is 15 mm and the remaining length of bolt is 20 mm then total length of bolt is 20 plus 15 plus if d is 40 if d is 40 then d is 40 then 0.6d is equal to 0.6 into 40 is equal to 24 then 24 plus 10 mm totally the total length of our bolt is 109 mm 109 mm around 110 mm that means this length of total uh, total length of bolt is 10 mm plus 24 plus 40 plus 15 plus 20 equal to 109 mm see this distance is you know that in earlier classes we have to already learn this distance is corner to corner distance that is if suppose our d is equal to 40 then this is 2d then 40 into 2 is equal to 80 mm and the height of the bolt is given that is d that is this is 40 mm and the height of the lock nut is given that value is 0.6 d so 0.6 into d is equal to 24 mm and upper side of the locking nut there is a small provision for our bolt that's length is 10 mm and from this figure we can understand that thickness of the plate is 15 mm 
and the remaining length of bolt without head is marked here that is length is 20 mm here in, in our plate there is a hole slightly larger than that of the bolt diameter here this is our bolt diameter this is our bolt diameter that is D that is D there is another line passing through its bolt diameter this is core diameter its value is 0.80 D that means if D is 40 then 0.8 is equal to 32 millimeter finally there is a gap in between this bolt and the plate that value is 1 millimeter 1 this is 1 millimeter 1 millimeter these are the terms related to locking arrangement first we have to identify what type of locking arrangement are to be drawn from that we can formulate its data by using its given data the only data is given that is D is given that is 40 by using this data we can find out other terms associated with this locking arrangements and listen, one more thing is to be remembered when we are drawing this locking arrangements that is its radius the center portion radius is given its value is given that is denoted by the letter R1 R1 value is given 1.732 into D that is the center radius and similarly side radius is represented by the letter R2 its value is 0.43 into D that is the two radius related to this locking arrangement we have already these terms are learned in the previous classes ok this is the given data that is value is D D is given by the help of this D we can find out other data first one core diameter we represent by letter D1 that is value is 0 0.8 into D that is 0 0.8 into 40 is equal to 32 mm and corner to corner distance with the cross corners is equal to its value is 2D that is 2 into 40 is equal to 80 mm and R1 center radius R1 its value is 1.732D therefore 1.732 into 40 is equal to around 63 millimeter and R2 is the side radius its value is 0.433D that is 0.433 into 40 around 18 mm and the plate thickness is given that is 15 mm and the projecting length of the bolt projecting length of the bolt above the locking net that is 10 millimeter and projecting length below the plate that is 20 mm and the thickness of the net, lock net is equal to 0.6 D that is 0.6 into 40 is equal to 24 mm by using this data we can for generate or draw the locking arrangement by locking net or chuck net dear students next we have to draw that locking arrangement using our data here first I have draw a center line now draw a reference line here from that reference line we can draw three more horizontal line keeping this is the plate thickness that is value is 15 mm and this gap is 24 mm and this is 14 mm that, mean, that means by keeping this distance we have to draw three more horizontal line ok after that after that from this center line we have to mark a radius on both side that means we know that our value of D is given that is 40 so the half of the D is 20 mm by this value we can offset that radius on both side here I am using putting a point here similarly draw a point here that's value is 
one sided value is tendium one sided value is tendium so this value is also tendium by using this tendium radius we can draw a vertical line connecting this three horizontal line horizontal line now we know that our d is 40 so with the cross corner is 2d that is 2 into 40 it is 80 m now from the center line we have to put a radius here keeping 40 mm distance 40 mm distance similarly draw a point here that means this value is this value is totally 80 mm now we have to draw two more vertical line connecting this three horizontal now we have to mark its radius using r2 radius we have to mark a radius here similarly we can draw another arc using r1 radius similarly r2 radius try to mark an arc here similarly here and here this is our normal length similarly we can draw an arc here for rocking net now we have to extend this line through this plate towards in downward direction up to 20 mm from this line similarly extend up to 10 mm from this line in an upward direction now draw its core diameter we know that core diameter value is 0.8 d so from this center we can mark that radius we know that core diameter value is 0.8 into 40 that is 32 mm 32 by 2 is equal to 16 mm then we have to put a point here keeping 16 mm from both direction both side through this point we have to draw a vertical line this vertical line pass through the plate hole and also mark this side this is our core diameter at the end of the core diameter slightly provided a radius surface that is thread run out and we have to mark thread limit also then we can break this bolt head by using a continuous breaking line and the mark as a catching line here similarly at the top side you have to mark its some fade end now using a breaking line 
break the platelets at the both side and there is a another vertical line is placed here to show the clearance hole that's gap is 1 millimeter the gap, gap is 1 millimeter now using 45 degree angle that's the plate surface Now we can provide chamfering at the top surface of the net. Now mark its ends. Now we have to complete our required chuck net. Here, this is our ordinary net placed at the top side of the locking net. This is our corner to corner diameter, that is, its value is 2D. The height or projecting length upper side of the bolt is 10mm. Thickness of the normal bolt is D. Thickness of the locking net is 0.6D. Thickness of the plate is 15mm. Projecting length below the plate is 20mm. This is our diameter of the bolt. And this is our core diameter that is 0.8D. This is R1 radius. This is R2 radius. These are the our locking. Arrange means okay.